Hi gang, Robert J. E. Simpson here once again. Thank you very much for tuning in. You're a very brave soul sticking with me for all this length of time. Um, rather than do one of my creative posts as such today, um, this is going to be a, a bit more of a thought for the day, shall we say. And that thought is based on the old Bob Hoskins BT slogan, It's good to talk. And that's something I think is very, very important as we go through this strange reality that is 2020 across the world in amongst this strange uh, pandemic and the way that life itself has, has altered completely. Um, nothing like most of us have ever experienced before and hopefully we'll never experience again within our lifetimes. Um, so it is a strange time. Um, but one of the things that's become very, very apparent is our need to communicate with each other. Um, just as an example, I spent six weeks out in Italy last summer. And I was out there doing a house sit at the time. I speak very little Italian. I've got about three words, to be honest. So it was already a very solitary experience. But I was looking forward to the visit of a friend about halfway through the trip. Um, and that should have meant I had company for a few days. So three weeks on my own, friend for a few days, and then our three weeks on my own would have been absolutely fine. But unfortunately, in the end, uh, my friend was not able to come out and make the trip. And so I ended up spending the whole trip out there by myself. Um, that became a very solitary, very strange and very surreal experience. And by the end of it, I certainly felt that it wasn't something I was necessarily going to do again by myself for that length of time. I like being on my own uh, at times. I, I like, I'm quite happy to spend my time within these four walls and my own little surroundings. But when I choose, there's a very different situation between choosing to be on your own for this length of time and the situation that we have now where we are literally told that we have to be on our own for goodness knows how many weeks, months, years. Please, I hope not. But for a long time, so that's very, very difficult. And, and in terms of mental health, I think it's really important to be aware of that as well. It's important that we keep our own mental health strong and that need to communicate with people on a daily basis is very, very important. I have sat and I have watched friends and family and strangers having to have conversations from opposite sides of the street. It's very, very surreal when you see people having to be like this instead of up here and, and, and like this, you know, really, really close. Um, so we're being forced to be distant from everyone. We're also being forced right now to be really suspicious of everybody else that we encounter. And that is not a healthy mindset going forward. Once we come out of this, we want to be losing those kind of trails of thought. We want to be in a much more positive sphere. But it may be that you've got people in your life right now or people that you know before the, the crisis uh, hit that would have been in very, very difficult situations themselves and where people maybe you were concerned about, you're probably still right to be concerned about those people and do check in with them. There are people I know that are going through difficult times right now who are being forced into domestic situations that they would rather not be in. Um, and there is a rise at the moment has been reported in, in the news outlets of domestic abuse incidents. So if you're concerned about people before, Please still be concerned about them and do check in. It's not going to do you any harm to check in on them. Make sure they're all okay in whatever way you need to do. This is a theme I am going to come back to again within the show. But if I can, I'm going to leave this uh, with a couple of plugs today. One is related to that. So later on today, this is Saturday the 4th of April 2020 as I record this. Um, by this evening, we should have the latest in the Cinepunked podcast up. And it's our recording uh, that we did for a live event about Gaslight, the film, uh, based on the Patrick Hamilton play. Um, but it will help explain the term itself and also is quite heavily about the domestic abuse uh, mentality. Um, it's not an easy listen to. If you're if you're at all likely to be triggered by it, you might want to just brace yourself for it. Um, but if, you're, if, if it's something you're not familiar with i'd say it's well worth a listen it's me rachel kelly and uh, liz nelson uh, it's a really really good and interesting conversation and um, so i'll be up on the podcast later on this evening and then from here on in um, the other thing to do in terms of chatting away is, look, I've been doing a little bit more testing in terms of, of sort of uh, online streaming, trying to engage with other people because I really miss being able to spend time with my family and my friends. Uh, my brother Ben has been on to me three times already today through video chat and we're supposed to be chatting again um, later on this evening. So there's obviously a need for us to be in a space with each other because we, we'd spend a lot of time working together, um, but usually in a studio, in a room, on a stage uh, somewhere. And, and I am missing out on that a great deal. But with the live chats, it's quite interesting. I mean, I've been able to communicate with family and friends and, and, and colleagues that I haven't been able to see for a while. And there is this sense of collaboration, which is really, really good. It's why everyone is doing it right now. Um, and I think it's a very positive experience. So I did one on Instagram the other night, it went okay. I did one on Facebook and that went slightly better. So I am going to try and do another um, Facebook live feed. It'll be this Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh, sorry, not, this Wednesday, the 8th of April. Uh, it'll be at 10 p.m. UK time. And that'll be on my Facebook and you can tune in there 
and you'll be able to, to kind of interact with me and um, interact via text. If I can get some sort of audio setup going on, I might be able to bring you in as a conversation as well. If you're happy to go over the loudspeakers and be picked up by the live feed. Um, so yeah, it'd be a nice way to do it. I'm going to try and structure it a little bit more like a show than, than the, the stream of consciousness that I did the other day. But we'll see how it goes. And it'd be lovely to kind of chat with people um, if we can. It's really important that we do see each other, that, that our faces are seen. It's really important that we're able to talk to each other. Um, it's important that we don't stop communicating because when we come out of this on the far side, we're going to have to go back into a new reality and be able to do things again. We are being forced at the moment to do a very, very alien thing. We are being forced to spend our entire time not interacting with each other. We're being forced into these rooms of solitary confinement indefinitely. We don't know when we're going to be able to come out of this. And at some point, we're going to have to come out the other side. And hopefully we'll be able to interact again like normal human beings. Um, that's it for now. Um, so you'll be able to find me, you know, all the usual channels. I'm Robert J. E. Simpson. Find me on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and whatever else have you. Um, one thing I'm going to plug, I plug my friend Rob Ross. Um, I've done this already on the show before, but he's a good mate. Um, I'm missing the chance to have a work with him, but he's been in communication the last week and it's been lovely to, to have an hour. Um, Rob is doing things on Saturday nights. So he's doing live comedy uh, screenings and he's doing live uh, Facebook chat alongs and Twitter tweet alongs. So check those out on Robert Ross, British comedy historian, and he's also doing a daily vlog as well, which is really, really good. Um, I'm going to recommend some other people during this week. Um, so do do that. And uh, yeah, so do that. Tune into my thing on Monday night. And um, apart from that, see you soon.